right guys hi another one uh, recreation of a Mac face chart for the brunette blonde redhead collection again using the Ulta eyeshadows and then a NYX jumbo pencil um, it's very soft subtle easy to wear daytime kind of neutral look and I was a little weirded out by using the gray liner but I don't know. You guys tell me if you like it or not. I'm have, I'm undecided. So go ahead and we'll get started. I already put Urban Decay Primer Potion on my lid. And then next I'm going to use a concealer brush and apply um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot all over the lid. You can come in. I'm leaving that in the video. I'll give you something else to leave in your video. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry! You know, I'm actually kind of surprised he hasn't asked me to make um, other home videos now that I started making these. But I think that was the first hint towards that direction. And sorry, um, obviously NC-17 warning. Okay, so once you've got that kind of blended in over the whole lid area, again, just because Urban Decay is difficult to blend over for me, um, and I need a stickier base, I have, I'll use a cream base over the lid. So we're gonna, like I said, use the Ulta eyeshadows again. This is Silk. This one is called Cashmere. No, this one's called Cashmere, and then this one's called Copper Bronze. And I didn't use that lip. I used a Rimmel lip, Airy Fairy, and a MAC Lip of Glee, and Lilac Crush with, I don't know, some random lip liner. I forget. A nude mauve lip liner. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, we are going to use the 3 8 inch MAC Scene Mops brush from Lil Cornell and load up with the Silk, which is a creamy golden color and apply that, patting it onto the lid. And then because this is a really soft look, I put it up into the crease. Also, help with the blending. Okay. And then it's weird, it asks you to use henna and um, I forget what the other color is called, in your crease. So. I don't know, I think it just wants you to use too many eyeshadows, so it figures out ways to do it, but I did it too. So first I used um, my 217, and I went into the Ulta eyeshadow, this one, Cashmere, okay, and I put it in the crease all the way across. I'm gonna clean off the brush now because I don't want to get too much color on it and just soften it up. Okay. And you can kind of go up into that brow area, it's okay, because we're gonna put a highlight in there and bring it down. Then I went and I used my um, Sonia Kesha pointed blended brush. I forget which one is the MAC one, but they have one very similar where it's tapered, it's got a point. And I went into the copper bronze and loaded up the tip. Just like so and then hit that crease again but now you can see that and if I open my eye just a little bit it helps guide it you see it sink in behind the eyeball and go ahead and load up that crease put in a little bit more and then I went back with the 217 I didn't load any color on it or anything, so it's just dirty from the cashmere color, and went back and blended the two together. Okay, and then next, I used a very nude color. I went through all my stash, I took some stash pictures, and then reorganized and all that sort of stuff, because like I have a drugstore only drawer and all that sort of jazz. But anyways, I really needed a nude um, matte eyeshadow for blending, especially when I don't want to wear a highlight. 
and I didn't have one and I've been going crazy but I do I have like three they're all drugstore ones but who cares as long as they work right so this is from uh, Maybelline called brown tones and so I'm just going to use this softer lighter color right here to kind of blend out a little bit and I'm going to use the large half inch little Cornell Maxi moss brush and I just went up there and I use it and it brings down that crease color I brought up too high and then I thought that I still because my lid is so shimmery um, and then the crease is a real shimmery color I felt it still needed a little bit of lift so I still applied a little bit of that silk just up there on the highlight just a little all right so the next thing is a little weird it asks you to do use a coal liner with a brush okay so I have here slate by NYX it's a jumbo pencil and I'm gonna use this angled liner brush just use um one with a, a tight flat um, I don't know what you call it track so you know so it's small and primarily all it really did was just thicken my lash line I assume you guys can tell by just looking at me so I'm gonna take this and just do little tiny check marks all the way across my into the lash line Just the slightest little flick gives the impression that I have longer lashes and it opens the eye a little bit okay so then on the lower lash line I tried using the same angled brush but it wasn't a thick enough line and it was a little too distinct so I'm going to use instead this Sephora smudger and you can find any other you know smudgers you could even use the um, essence of beauty tiny peek crease brush and I'm missing the middle one I wonder my daughter must have it you can even use that one I'm missing the bigger one of this now that I think about it so anyways so I loaded up just the edge and I'm gonna go ahead and push that into the lashes all along okay so really simple and really soft and totally wearable. No one's going to think you're garish or you're out there or you've done anything funny. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and put on my mascara and then I'll be right back with the finished look. Okay guys, I'm back. So there it is. All done. Finished. Mascara on both lashes. Um, the only thing I did want to mention, sorry, loose brush hairs, is that if you have a problem with your lower lash line running, either put some Urban Decay Primer Potion down there before you use something like the NYX Jumbo Pencil, or set it with a gray eyeshadow so that um, you know it won't run on you. But other than that, bye for now. Sorry, he doesn't know how to stay out of the room. Bye again.